Yo, what is up everyone? I'm back in another video. Alright, so in this, um, I'm basically going to be talking about my favorite content in the game, Gator Time. Now, what I'm going to be explaining is basically my biggest issue with Gator Time of all time. Uh, ever since it's come out, I never liked it. Or anyways, the Purify issue. Uh, I should have made this on a gate video today, but, you know, like, whatever. Um, anyways, Gator Time has an issue called the Purify issue. Now what this is basically, Purify is the second, in my opinion second, because the first system I'll talk about in another video, but the second worst system in the entire game, in my opinion. Now, the reason being is because of how many requirements and what Purify actually does to you in the game. Um, so basically the game tries to force you into Purify. Now what I mean by this is they basically make it nearly impossible to pass gate force unless you are that much stronger and that much ahead of where you should act of where like the average player is or where the dungeon scaling is. You probably will not be able to pass purgatory mode. Um, and I know like a couple people will be like, well I can pass it purgatory mode, but like the fact of the matter is, unless you're a spender, you're probably not passing pur purgatory. And honestly, I wouldn't even say small spender. I'd say you need to pity a few cards. Like, the, the basic cards in the game that I've talked about all before. Um, Shadow Knight, uh, Schnee, Night Monarch, Anna's, like, those type of cards. Like, you need you need to have to pity those, basically, to be able to even be in the realm of the strength that you need to be to brute force gate. Obviously, that's not all, all you need. You need more things than that. But that's just the, the in short terms, you basically, me saying, you need to spend people to brute force gate however if you're like a low spender you have all those cards but maybe you're not like a spending enough to where you can brute force it and you actually need the purify requirements you're probably not going to be able to reach it now i'm gonna now the reason being in the first place is emblems i personally don't really care for emblems like if you guys watch my old way back videos i literally used to talk about how i didn't feel like upgrading emblems was worth the upgrade or worth the cost which to an extent, I would still agree with that today. Like, I'm not saying neglect your emblems completely. I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't be rushing my emblems. But the reason I, w I don't agree with that today anymore is because Purify is so ridiculously disgusting that we need, that, that you just can't, um, you don't have the luxury anymore to really just slack on emblems. So as you guys can see, my emblems are nearly all maxed, 46, 46, 46 for my Purify. And my Purify is only 46,020. Which means that I cannot go above floor like 30, I think, on the current gate. Or floor, I think actually floor 25. But basically my Purify doesn't meet the requirements for floor 20, floor 30 and up. Which means that I would be, it'd be hard for me to go to any gate, to join a gate team and do higher floors. Unless I got super Purify carried. But the thing with Purify is, every time a new gate rolls around, it's not possible, it is not possible to reach the maximum Purify requirement. Um, I think that floor 40 this time is going to be around 80k, or actually, I think it's going to be, no, we're, we're already at 80k. I think it's going to be like 90 to 100k, somewhere between there, honestly. It is not possible for people to reach that. I think right now the highest purify is like 78k or somewhere around there. Maybe I'm highballing it. I don't really know because you guys, as you guys can tell, I don't really upgrade my purify. But I think that purify is the, worst, the, the second worst system in the game. It shouldn't exist. It's just a way to make free-to-plays spend um it it help it, it makes free to play progress slower first of all now the, what i mean by progress slower is when you have to spend shells spend drops like lose value lose other resources to upgrade your purify you lose out on it, other character increases um and while that may be different for depending on someone's luck on how much drops they get or whatever some people have to spend shells buying emeralds because they can't get drops other people have to spend shells buying crystals because they don't get, because the 6k weekly redeem isn't enough for them. So it really just depends, but it just helps, it makes you lose out on resources. No matter what type, what tier you are, you probably are losing out on resources. If you're a spender, because of Purify, you're more inclined to start spending on crystals, with because crystals have become such a valuable resource, because you need crystals for seals, you need them for Purify, you need them for equipment reforges if you really want to get perfect equipment gears. So there's so many uses for crystals, and Purify is just one of the like the, the largest sinks of crystals. So I just think personally, Purify should never have been added to the game. It should it still shouldn't be in the game. It 
the requirements, the way that they scale it is also really bad because every time a new gate comes out, it is impossible. I think there's only been one, no, actually, I don't think there's ever been a new gate that's come out that we're, where we've been able to reach the maximum purify from the first season uh, that has been out. Um, I'm pretty sure. So, like, I don't think purify is a good system. It was never a good system, and I don't really like it, honestly. Um, because it just forces me to play the game in a way that I don't want to by sacrificing resources. And it, it entices spenders to spend less on other resources, whereas you could buy crystals. Granted, obviously, if you're looking at, like, bingo or something, and it's, like, crystals or, like, a rank 120 emblem, like, it's not that big of a difference. But, you know, resources are resources at the end of the day. I think it's unfair, in my personal opinion. So that's why I believe that Purify is a terrible system. Thanks to you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.